All right, here we go with lots of upstrokes. One, two, three, four. One, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, one. This particular rhythm is extremely difficult when you get going fast because it's so easy to get mixed up with all those upstrokes. So this one you might want to work up in five beat per minute increments without the repeat first just to get the hang of it. You can go up slower too. Uh, then once you're feeling pretty good at the hundred then add the repeat back in. So I'm going to play 80 next. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, If this one's too confusing to count fast, that's fine. Don't worry about counting this one quickly. Slow speed, yes. Fast speed, not a big deal. One, two, 100 beats a minute. Not an easy one at all. All right, number two, be sure to keep your hand flowing in beats two and four there. So you get, you get your strum, then come up, down, up. The reason why is because when you're going at the quick tempos, if you do that pause, what typically happens is people make it an eighth note triplet swing feel. So it would be like going one and a two and a three and a four and then having this kind of feel. But then we take the middle one out and it sounds like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. A two, a three, a four, a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. A two, a three, a four, a. So it's very similar to what we're doing. So I'm going to do four beats of the swing feel and then four beats of this new thing. That was very wrong. It's such a subtle difference, such a subtle difference. It's hard to tell sometimes, but that's why I want you to keep the hand going to make it more precise. So that's why we don't want to pause. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One. Apparently I need to pay better attention. One, 
two, three, four. What are you gonna do? I started changing chords too soon. One, two, three, four. One and a two. A three and a four. A one and a two. A four. A one and a two. A three and a four. A one and a two. A three and a four. A one and a two. A three and a four. A one and a two. A three and a four. A one and a two. A three and a four. A one and a two. A three and a four. A down. Goodness. Okay. Number three, 60, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, one, two, one, four, oh, one. oh my goodness, this is not my night, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, three, one, four, oh, one. One, two, three, four. Quietly saying one, a two, a three, a the, for a big part of that to help me better keep track of you know where my hand is hitting. So not a bad idea to do that. Just kind of quietly say it when you're going faster. And so on. Um, feels kind of funny a little bit when you first do it. But uh, definitely helpful in keeping track of where you're at. So in working on this, try doing 60. So just demo how like the first one should go here. So we got. If that is just taking a while and it's proving to be a pain in the butt, do this instead. Uh, go up to like a hundred, and instead of doing eighth notes, do quarter notes. So be like this. the string um, you know what one more time do it right
um, and if you need to, like, try 95, try 90, if need be, just so you can get through it. That's all I want you to be able to do. Just get through it once correctly. Uh, you can build the chord one note at a time, you know, like one fret as you go, or one string as you go. Sometimes that can help compartmentalize everything a lot easier because you're picking one string at a time, so you just put one string down at a time. Just keep it down after you get it there so everything's ringing out together. Um, before you practice the last three, the ones you're going to come up with, I'd like you to send that over to me so I can sign off on it. Make sure that they're all in really good close proximity to one another so you're not jumping around too much and don't want you to practice something that's more difficult than it needs to be. If any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you next week.